the 16th of March 2018 16 hours 10 minutes and 40 seconds Zulon Bator, M-O-N-T-S-A-M-E, the high-level meeting between the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, DPRK, and the United States, U.S., can be held in Mongolia, says the Chief of Staff of the President's Office. The matter was touched upon during Chief of Staff Z. Ankbold's meeting with Oh Sung Ho. The DPRK ambassador to Mongolia on March 16, Ziankbold noted that Mongolia effectively backs any initiative directed at strengthening stability and peace in the Northeast Asian region, and expressed Mongolia's appreciation of the agreement to hold a high-level meeting between the DPRK and the Republic of Korea ROC. Furthermore, Mongolia is one of the few countries that have friendly ties with the DPRK and the U.S., and it is entirely possible to hold the high-level meeting between the two countries, which is in discussion now, in Mongolia, he stated. In response, Ambassador Oh Sung Ho said that the proposal made by Mongolia is an indication of its efforts to contribute to peace and security of not only the Korean Peninsula, but also the Northeast Asia, informing the Chief of Staff that the proposal will be conveyed to the corresponding officials. On the same day, Chief of Staff Ziank Bold met Charged Affairs A.I., the U.S. Embassy to Mongolia Manuel P. McCuller. At the beginning of the meeting, Ziank Bold spoke about his recent visit to the U.S. and matters that were agreed during the visit, expressing his gratitude towards the embassy's assistance in arranging the visit. The parties exchanged views on expanding economic relations between the two countries and the U.S. support in bringing back offshore money to Mongolia while highlighting Mongolia's efforts to contribute to peace and stability in the Northeast Asian region, the chief of staff said, as one of the few countries holding friendly relations with the U.S. and the DPRK, Mongolia can host the high-level meeting between the two countries, which is on agenda at the moment, Mr. Manuel P. McCuller appreciated Mongolia's initiative, which he said would be conveyed to the Department of State and the White House. The Charged Affairs also expressed gratitude towards Mongolia's participation in peacekeeping operations in Iraq and Afghanistan in collaboration with the U.S. troops and extended his greetings for the Soldiers' Day, which will be marked on March 18. B. Bachi Meg